Hello friends, so I have changed things up a bit, as you can see, some crazy flaring going on. I actually have a laptop now plugged in as well, so it's really cool. I never had this before, like a big monitor, because before I would be just looking at the lens, but I guess now I'll be like doing this a little bit. Anyway, I thought I'd play about a bit with the lighting. And I was actually recently thinking about the gray market. I know it's not been talked about recently too much, so I thought I would make a video about it and talk about my experience, especially the E-Infinity. That's the only retailer I was using just purely based on the price. Um, if you're buying from the gray market, you're buying from the gray market. That's the only factor that you really kind of care about. Um, and I'll explain you the pros and cons of both buying the gray market, the retail and used. So I have some figures here. I did a check on Fuji Film X-T4 camera, body only. And the prices are retail, 1,549 pounds for a body. And buying from E-Infinity, it sits at 1,229 pounds, which is just over 300 pounds of difference. Uh, it will be a lot more in dollars. And it is a substantial difference if you think about it. For example, you can get a lens that, from there as well, which is the um, Sigma 35 1.4 I took as an example. And it retails for $6.99. And over there, you can get it for $4.99, which is, if you think about it, if you're getting both over there, you're saving a hell of a lot of money. Um, but that's one aspect of it. And that's pretty much the main aspect of it. Whether you're going to go for it or not, it's purely up to you. But there are the reasons why not to go for it. And they are as follows. So one, I don't know how many people it will apply to, but you cannot get your taxes back. So because you're buying through the company that says taxes all included, you can't get it back. And actually, in a lot of the times, if you are a business owner or if you are self-employed, you actually can get more in taxes back than what you paid in the gray market, actually. But if you're buying from the street like anybody else, that doesn't really affect you there are things that do affect you for example the warranty i heard horror stories about all kinds of issues people having trying to return uh, their equipment to the dodgy uh, the gray market resellers and uh, yeah it's pretty bad but in the grand scheme of things again if you're buying a loads of equipment it might make sense especially if you compare it to ebay use prices because I took some examples of the lens and the camera bodies I mentioned before of what they sell on average eBay and it's pretty shocking to be honest. So for instance, the X-T4 body that you could normally get for around £1,200 in E-Infinity on eBay used sells for about £1,100 and for just £100 more you can get a brand new item. Yes, it comes with a drawback that the warranty is potentially shambles even though they say it's one year warranty i wouldn't trust it um, but at the same time when you're buying from ebay there is zero warranty either they class it as a used item and if you have any issues like i had once issue with the nikon d300 and there was a le legitimate issue i immediately saw it and i asked ebay to step in and resolve it with the seller because seller was not willing to uh, deal with it and they were asking me to take it to the camera stores to get it evaluated if there are issues or anything. So pretty much they told me like, you know, in between the lines, if you're not happy, put it back on eBay and sell it. And some poor bastard is going to deal with it as well. But it is sad that eBay is allowing this kind of behavior in the market. Not only that, a lot of the times you will see that actually pe people who have bought from gray market claiming to be from retail but lost the receipt and then put it on eBay and sell it for almost the same for what they bought it. And then they have their money back and then some. It depends if the item is popular, you can actually make money from buying from gray market, use it and then sell it again. For the sake of completion, I will also mention the price of the lens as well. So on eBay, it goes for 391 uh, on average or about 390, 400 pounds, where if you buy it from E-Infinity, it's 499. So again, another 100 pounds difference, but I would much rather get it from uh, E-Infinity for myself. But that's the ultimate question you have to ask yourself. If you are willing to buy used, I would then say, just go and buy it from Grey Market. You spend a little bit more, but it's definitely new. 
It's just if there is a warranty issue, you're pretty much in the same boat as if you were buying from the eBay anyway. So why not? So far, my experience with Infinity was great. I have never needed to do a return because I would use the equipment until I see fit. And then if I wanted to get rid of it, I just sell it. And lucky to me, it would sell at a good price. Even though it, I'd say people that this is the website I bought it from, they would still pay the same money. So that's pretty much to it. There's not much else. And I see my Zoom F3 is running out of battery. I realized if I leave it in cold places, the battery drains, drains really fast. So I better wrap it up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I really hope I was in a focus, because if I don't, I'm not going to reshoot this. Wow.